everybody, and welcome to Mike Nerichlow Online, sharing my love for people, ice wine, food, and all things made passionately. All right, today's show, carrying on again. Can you see that in camera, standing up there? <laughs> carrying on again in our Ontario region ice wine small series, Niagara on the Lake in particular. For those of you with the power of um, decisiveness or whatever, <laughs> power of detection or deduction or whatever you want to call it. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Yes, the spit bucket's back in the picture. Yes, I filmed the previous episode about 10 seconds ago. Anyway, it's besides the point. Let's get right into this one. Southbrook Estate Winery. I did an episode on their Chardonnay not long ago. Rocked my socks off. Such an interesting Chardonnay. Canada's first biodynamic winery and organic. They make exceptional wines. Anyway, doing some ice wine from them. This is their 2009 Vidal Ice Wine. Like I said, previous episode, Vidal, hardy grape variety. Withstands almost any climate, cool climates, what have you. It'll rock it. Wicked for making ice wine. So, we'll get right into it. Like I said, 2009 Vidal Ice Wine, I believe it's about $27 a bottle. Yeah, Let's see how it plays out. If you have a look, this must be a Vidal characteristic. It's got, again, that dark, dark golden color. Same as that Reef Estate we had previously. Let's see what this one's offering up. Completely, completely different nose, completely different wine. Same variety, same region, different practices. Different location too, it's not like they're growing in the same vineyard. On the nose. It's got hints of apricot, which again is a standard ice wine thing. Hints of apricot. But this is screaming apples at me. Screaming. Screaming apples and pears. Apples and pears with also a hint of honey as well. And it's got a really neat spice to it. Something's going on to do with some spice. Let's see how it tingles my taste buds. Mmm. Okay. Wow. This is a juicy ice wine. Juicy. As opposed to somewhat syrupy, it's extremely juicy and extremely apple-y. I'm going to say like the finish of this, okay, when you were in elementary school and your mom sent you to school with those little sun-ripe apple juice boxes, you can get the bigger ones too. Anyway, sun-ripe apple juice, that is the finish of this wine. All I taste is apples until next week, sun-ripe apple juice. Extremely juicy, extremely flavorful. Up front, it starts with a hint of that apricot and just moves into that apple region. So much apple. And it's got a really interesting, this could be a bi-dynamic thing, not sure. Typically can be, but gives it this extra, I don't know, we don't have any Canadian words. Let's say je ne sais quoi, <laughs> or whatever, something you can't describe. Um, something different. It's kind of got almost that apple crumble, apple cake sort of characters it kind of bready I like it interesting very juicy though very clean on the palate interesting wine another very nice ice wine it's really hard to come across bad ice wine especially if it's made properly there's certain ways of making ice wine. I think you can stick it in a freezer and squeeze it and if you let nature take its course on it and you're making good ice wine typically it's gonna be good so another awesome ice wine so everybody, thank you so much for watching today. And remember, ice wine or wine, deep pretentiousized. We'll see you on the next episode. Oh, make sure if you're ever in Ontario or if you're watching this from Ontario, check out some of these ice wines. It's definitely worth it.